What's going on everybody? Welcome to part 32 of my playthrough for Pokemon Blue. So in the last episode we came to the power plant, which in the last episode I was talking about how it was kind of a cooler area, sort of a side dungeon that you can easily miss if you don't know it's there, but it does have, uh, it is home to one of the legendary Pokemon in the game, Zapdos, which we just caught in the last episode, and surprisingly enough I came out mildly unscathed. Zapdos doesn't exactly, in my opinion he's one of the cooler ones, and I think he might be the most powerful legendary bird in the game, but... I, I, we came out really unscathed, and I caught him in under 10 minutes, which is rare, considering how long Articuno took me. I mean, honestly, it took me longer to catch an Abra than it took me to catch a legendary Pokemon. So that's, we're, we're doing good on that, like, that was, that was the best capture rate I've ever had for any, any one of those, especially Zapdos, who usually gives me the most amount of trouble whenever I come here. It's usually, like, a couple hours, a couple game resets, you know. So yeah, the power plant's all done, we got everything out of there, and it was, like I said, cool area, I like it, no trainers, just Pokemon. And it's, like I said, a kind of hidden area back here you really wouldn't expect it to be. Just something back here, you know what I mean? It's just, it's, it, was, it was very cool to me, at least when I was a kid, because like I said, I didn't know it was back here for the longest time, and I came back after years of playing this game and found a new area. It's just a cool thing. So now that we're all done with that, we're, uh, we're going to move on to other things. There's really not much left to do in the game. We actually have completed most of the side stuff. There might be a few little here and there things that I may have missed, but nothing nothing consequential that I really missed in any of the other towns. We pretty much uh, did everything that we needed to do when we were back there. So for now, we're going to head back up here. Like I said, it's just such a... Look, look at this area back here. Like, I just wouldn't expect it. It's cool if you were, like, searching all over the game, or maybe you were paying attention to the map, which I didn't pay attention when I was a kid. I never paid attention to game text, anything. Like, the story just kind of played out. Like, I just read little bits and pieces, and I wouldn't uh, do the whole thing. So that's probably why I missed out. Like, probably someone here is probably like, oh, hey, there's a there's a power plant back there. I sold a useless nugget for $5,000. Yep, sounds like the real world, selling useless things for lots of money. The element types of Pokemon make them stronger than some other types, weaker than other ki- what? I just- I completely butchered that. Uh, that nugget thing makes me think though, it's like, it's off topic, but like there was like a Starbucks cart that's worth like $400, but people are selling it for like 1000 because they're only 500 made or something. It's like something like that, you know what I mean? Like, does that even make sense? I mean, really? Alright, so let's go ahead and deposit- I don't even know what box we're in, but we're gonna drop off- yeah, we shouldn't need Slave for now. Slave is... We probably actually won't need him for the rest of the game, so we can we can say goodbye to Slave. He tried his best against Artic uh, Articuno, Zapdos, but he, uh, being underleveled. <laughs> like, yeah, that would have been funny if he could have gotten a little bit of damage on him. Okay, let's go ahead and withdraw... Um... Professor X. And there's Zapdos right there. Oh, Zapdos. Um... No, actually, we're gonna have to deposit, now that I think about it. We're gonna have to deposit Professor X for a second. And we're going to go ahead and change boxes real quick. And we're going to go ahead and withdraw Articuno. Which I should probably just start keeping them in the regular, like the main box. Like none of the side stuff is, none of the side Pokemon I've caught are really important for any real reason. There's ones I've wanted to catch for <laughs> just random reasons. But okay, so if we go on Articuno, and we can check around, like we, we have really done everything now. There's nothing really left to do. When we were in Vermilion City, Celadon City, Fuchsia City, it's like we've done all this, we've completed all these areas to the fullest extent that I know of, and it was, it was good, you know, it was, we've, we've really come a long way in this Pokemon journey. But now that we're all done with the power plant and all the side stuff, really, we're going to head back to Cinnabar Island for the very last time. I know, it's so sad. I think this is the area I've probably come back to the most, and it, you usually do end up going back to this area the most for the reason that we're going here now. Because, to my knowledge, I think you can just revive the two Pokemon in the game, which is it's just interesting, crazy concept still, like revive, but hey, after that little walk across the world... Where were you? Oh, you don't even know. Your fossil's back to life. It was an Aerodactyl. Like, I think. <laughs> I got an Aerodactyl. Let's hand over the rare Pokemon to me. Do you want to give it a nickname? No, I'm good. So, awesome. We have the only Aerodactyl in existence, right? Because this, this very, very knowledgeable professor told us that Aerodactyl was an extinct Pokemon. So we have the only Aerodactyl in the world. How much money do you think it's worth? <laughs> no, but okay. It's, it's good to know. Keep that in mind. We, we do have the only Aerodactyl in existence. And I believe it's in our PC box, so that's that's awesome. Alright, so... Now, now there's just one thing left to do. Yep, we've been missing that one badge for a little while now. It's time. It's time to go get that last badge. Take on that damn Viridian gym leader who decided to take a vacation while we were through there. But now we've come back around, which I, like I said before, I thought it was really cool how you always kind of loop back around to where you started. Because it was kind of like a goal that hanged in your face, you know, like you walked by the Pokemon League in the beginning, like, oh man, the Pokemon League, that's where I want to be. I want to be that guy. 
Uh, okay, so if we go ahead and deposit... Oops, the box is full. Oh, is that why? Okay, yeah, let's change the box. Like I said, I didn't... I never liked the box system too much. If you were really organized, it was good for you, but it was... I always hated it. I liked how what they did to the box PC in uh, later versions of the game much better. So we're gonna go ahead and grab out Professor X. Awesome, now we've got our full team back together, right? Yeah, look at that. My full team finally back together. Which is the only difficult part of my team because I usually, sometimes I like to pick a team that can do everything like all the HM moves so I never have to put anyone else away. But it's this the way this worked out just kind of worked out better and at least a few other Pokemon get to shine. All healed up. Heading out to the final gym. Who knows, what could await us in this, this terrifying last final gym? It has to be the hardest, most difficult gym in the game, right? Viridian City Gym. This is it, guys. The last badge. The last gym. Let's do this. Yo, champ in the making. Even I don't know the Viridian gym leader's identity. This will be the toughest of all the gym leaders. I hear that the trainers here like ground-type Pokemon. Ground-types, you say? Well, my team might just be well-equipped for that. Oh, look, an item. I want to get the item. Oh, yeah. Aw, oh, man. Where have we seen puzzles like this before? Hmm. And granted, I actually really do like this gym. I like how it's the final gym. I like the, the scheme of the gym. It's, it's really cool. Even, like, the color is really awesome. So I think we're going to take on the trainers here and show them who's boss, right? Hey, you must be running out of steam by now. Oh, not a chance. Not a chance. Okay, cool trainer. Yeah, cool trainer. I love, I've always said, like, male, like, as if we couldn't tell from the sprite. <laughs> cool trainer male. Not female. He's not a female. Uh, okay, let's go hypnosis. That, no. Nah, hypnosis is such a random attack. Like, you, when I was a kid, I used to think when it said it's not effective, it wouldn't ever work. But it, it does sometimes. Hold on, let's see if we can get this going. Didn't affect enemy sand slash. There we go. See, then it works. Like, I used to think when I was a kid, like, off, oh, it means that it would never, ever work. Like, not even a chance. And we don't need to use Dream Eater, but it's a pretty solid attack. It's one of those interesting attacks that really only suits someone like Steve, or Professor X. Actually, those are probably the only two Pokemon in the game that it really suits, because not... Well, maybe even uh, Drowsy, too, is uh, probably the normal contender. Aw, oh, man. Uh, no, it's not Dusev Shrek. Metronome? Dragon Rage. Oh my god, it's just so much fun to get Metronome. Just like spinning a wheel and getting a random attack. I mean, any attack. Missed? Come on, Steve, you got better accuracy. Oh, well, we were getting sand in the face. Which you wouldn't think would hurt a ghost, but... Yeah, I make a punch him. Nice. Switch out to Dug Trio, yeah. And I think ground Pokemon are usually don't give they're kinda like um how do I put them? It's not like when you think of like the the trio of Pokemon like fire does damage to grass, grass does damage to water, you know what I mean? Like that trio. To me it seems like ground Pokemon are pretty solid. Kinda like the similar like normal how they sort of are like a neutral kind of Pokemon, like they don't have any particular strengths, but they do have like uh sort of better overall in this, like, kind of cover all grounds. That's just what I see. Rrr, I'm working myself into a rage. Oh, Black Belt wants to fight. Bring it on, Black Belt. Machop. And it's weird, because Machop is actually, well, no, I guess he is a ground Pokemon in this game. But I always did think of Machop, Machop, that whole family is, like, fighting. Fighting is later in the, in, uh, the series, but, you know, confused right nice. Now I don't even want to put him to sleep, he can just take himself out. Much no more was I counter? Aw, oh, man. Focus energy. And actually, a very funny thing I've learned uh, not that long ago, focus energy, even though it seems like it should do something, focus energy actually hurts you. It actually na does, like, negative special to your attack or something. Like, I'm not a pro on Pokemon by any means, don't, don't get me wrong. But I do know, I did hear something like, focus energy is actually a hurtful attack to yourself. Even though it's not meant to be, like, something in the game's code is wrong. It's just, I, I find that kind of funny. Nightshade. <laughs> That's kind of ironic, don't you think? Which is a move I really like, but it's not a good move. Like, I like the idea of the move, but it's not, you know. Let's go to Yoshimitsu. That's the best thing about this gym, is, uh, like I said, like, all the stuff later in the game. Like, the beginning of the game, the first couple gyms really screw me over, and later, it's like, this is just no problem for me now. It's, it's, I don't have disadvantage in type, and I am right at the correct level, so I shouldn't have any problems at all. Let's go Surf. Yeah. <laughs> it's just so funny to see them doing focus energy now. Ah, uh, poor Mokchop. Mokchop, he tried his best. 
Whoa! Pokemon and I, we make wonderful music together. Uh, what? You are in perfect harmony. Uh, thank you. I think that was a compliment. I'm, I'm pretty sure that was a compliment. Yeah, and we get the item. Let's see, what is this? Revive. Revives aren't bad. They're not bad at all. Now, there is, of course, there's always a way to go through a gym and, you know, be careful and strategic and blah, blah, blah. But I'm just kind of... Since this is our last gym, I thought we'd, uh, you know, take our time. See, see how things go. Uh, okay, so if we go... Where do you think that'll take us, huh? <laughs> Let's find out, huh? That's half the fun of doing this. Right behind this guy. Going up. Oh, can we get around him? Yeah, nice. And, like, definitely, if you're going for experience and stuff, you'll probably want to fight all the trainers in here. It's probably a pretty solid idea. Karate is the ultimate form of martial arts. Ultimate my butt. <laughs> Tauros, Earthquake, is the ultimate form of attack. What are you talking about? And Tauros just wrecks things. Just wrecks them. Take on this guy. What do you got to say, man? I've taken down most of your guys in here. The truly talented win with style. I, I can agree with that. I can level with that. I can agree with that. Respect that. Alright. So, okay, I think we got two guys to go. Bring on this guy. I'm the Karate King. Your fate rests with me. Mr. Miyagi? Ooh, so Professor X is actually trying to learn Psychic. Now, we're going to drop Psy Wave for Psychic, because I believe that's better. I'm going to have actually had Psychic on at one point, and Psy might be better, but I'm going to go with Psychic, because I believe it is the superior move. Psychic, nice. Oh, yeah. Way superior. The way superior move. It's just got the rape scream. <laughs> like, way superior. Nothing can stop me. <laughs> yeah! Alright, so I wonder if you... Do you have to move that guy to get by there? That's that's interesting. I wish one of these things was kind of cool. Like, I like the little... The sound effect there. Wait, here. Maybe it'll play it again. Hold on a second. Slowly do it. I mean, can you imagine if this was happening to you? Like, oh, getting so sick. Ugh. No, not again. No! <laughs> oh, man. Coming over around here. Talk to this guy. And Viridian Jim was closed for a long time. But now our leader is back. Who could the leader be? Who could this mysterious leader be? Who? No. No, it can't be. No. Fwahaha! <laughs> this is my hideout. I plan to resurrect Team Rocket here. But you have caught me again. So be it. This time... I'm not holding back. Once more, you shall face Giovanni, the greatest trainer. That's right, the final gym leader, Giovanni himself. Now, when I was a kid, this kind of blew my mind. I was like, what? Bad guys can't be gym leaders. But here he was, gym leader to the final boss, Giovanni. Oh, man, this, this, was, a, this was one of my favorite battles in the entire game, hands down. All right, Giovanni, what do you got? So, of course, we kind of know his team, but now, for some reason, he's, he's bringing his A-game. He's got a good team here. So, if you're not careful, and definitely if you're not ready for, uh... The ground type, I feel like, are more rock solid with, like, defense and can dish out what they can take, so you gotta be careful. But, uh, we just learned the rape move, so... <laughs> we really shouldn't have too much of a problem. Like, if this is too overpowered, this is just gonna make things anticlimactic. I mean, look at that! Look at the special on that! I mean, Professor X just tears through everything! Alright, but I'll, I'll be sporting, okay? I've already KO'd one Pokemon with that, so let's switch out to Zippo. Dugtrio. I, I actually like Dugtrio as a Pokemon, too. Usually I thought the Pokemon designs would like the three of them lazy, like Dugtrio, Magneton. Kind of lazy designs, but still still not bad. Let's Swords Dance up. Oh yeah, bring on that Growl. Bring on that Growl. Because I'm just going to raise my attack anyways. Well, my special, I believe. Greatly, Rose. So I probably like counteracted it. Let's go Skull Bash. Get some real attack. What, what do you think the odds are we can hit him in one hit? Aw, oh, man. Skull Bash. Ooh, man. Critical hit. <laughs> Good try, Dugtrio. Good try. Crit's on my side today, Giovanni. Nido Queen. I will match that. You want a Nido Queen contest? Go get him, Tetra. 
His Nido Queen has got nothing on mine. Though I bet his has more solid moves to actually help Nido Queen. I always just thought it was cool how Nido Queen could learn such a variety of moves. These none of these moves actually really benefit Nido Queen, but I think it's a pretty cool variety. Let's go Horn Drill. Oh, first try. Like, oh my God, that move only has like a slow little chance of percent of hitting. One hit KO Giovanni. What now? The hacks are on my side. Nido King. Yoshimitsu. Yeah, and I always thought Nido King does kind of look cooler, but Nido Queen was always the one I had when I first played Pokemon Blue, because uh, I thought it was really cool that you could find uh, Pokemon like Nidoran in the grass, and I just I trained it up from there, and I thought um, so. Nido Queen was always kind of more my Pokemon, not really Nido King so much. Ooh, getting that poison going. But body slam? Oh, that didn't do it. Oh, right back at ya! Poison me, I'll paralyze you. Yeah. All right, uh, let's go. Dragon Rage. Dragon Rage is actually, like I said before, it's a safe, it's a pretty safe move. It always does 40 damage. But that's that can be good sometimes, like when you don't have a, a clear advantage. Uh oh, Thrash. No. Thrash is actually a very dangerous move. Uh, we need to we need to end this right now. Right now, end it with Surf. Just flood the entire arena. Yeah, because Thrash will actually keep going, and he gets more and more powerful from it. If, from what I remember, and it's it's a pretty deadly move actually. Last Pokemon, Giovanni, Rhydon. Bring out Steve. Ground versus ground. Rhydon is actually a pretty terrifying Pokemon. And if fun fact, I believe Rhydon was the very first Pokemon designed ever. He's the very first, so that's pretty cool. Uh, whoa, you are not <laughs> you are not Elo. Uh, that's who I meant to bring out Elo, but uh, let's go Hypnosis. Try to put it to sleep. Oh, too easy. Too easy. Fast asleep. Should have brought a Poke Flute, Giovanni. Switch out to Tauros. Come on, Elo. Use the whole team for this one. It's a team effort. Stomp. Oh, man, nothing at all. All right, let's use the most powerful ground move. Earthquake. Oh man, that right on is just a beast. I mean, level 50, you gotta admit, at this point in the game, level 50 is really high. I don't see how you could be that high if you were training a full team like I am. Tail Whip right on, that's all you got. Let's go Strength one more time. Oh man, I did nothing at all. Vizier, oh, okay. Vizier is a very scary move. It's like a very, very powerful earthquake. I believe it's uh, on par with uh, Horn Drill. That's a one hit KO, so we need to take him out before then. Come on, Tauros. Bring down the house. Oh, man. Do it, Elo. Finish it. Earthquake. Yeah. Roman defeated Giovanni. Ha. That was truly an intense fight. You have won. As proof, here is the Earth Badge. The Earth Badge makes Pokemon of any level obey. This is evidence of your mastery as a Pokemon trainer. With it, you can enter the Pokemon League. It is my gift for your Pokemon League challenge. Roman received TM27. TM27 is Visher. It will take out Pokemon with just one hit. I made it when I ran the gym here. Too long ago. Wow. Giovanni. Having lost, I cannot face my underlings. Team Rocket is finished forever. I will dedicate my life to the study of Pokemon. Let us meet again someday. Farewell. Just like that, Giovanni is gone. And it's actually pretty cool that you can just walk out of the gym without talking to him, but if you do talk to him and get that little script, you get some, some pretty interesting background on some of the story of the plot, and Giovanni is never seen again. So, with Giovanni beaten, we have all eight badges. We've done it. We de defeated all the gym leaders. We are ready for the Pokemon League. The best of the best. Team Rocket is no more, and all that stands in our way is the Pokemon, is one last journey. 
So for now, I'm going to end things off here. And in the next episode, we'll prepare and set out for the Pokemon League. I'm so excited. So until then, I thank you guys for watching, and I'll catch you later.